guys. Um, oh my god. We we need to talk about this live stream that Gypsy Rose was on. It's getting so much attention and it was entertaining to me. So I figured let me provide you all with some midday entertainment if you're bored, if you're into the Gypsy Rose topic and curious what kind of um, nonsense she's participating in now. There's a whole lot. So the last time that I talked about her, it was regarding her being spotted at a Louisiana tattoo shop with her ex-fiance, Ken. And since then, there have been more Ken sightings. They had a little date. Um, they went down to the French Quarter. They were having lunch. And then they decided to join a live stream with Natasha Cooper on TikTok. Yes, that Natasha Cooper, y'all already know how I feel about her, but I'm going to mention that she was the one that did this live stream. Um, y'all can have your own opinions about Natasha. I know that I have my own, um, but in all fairness, I also don't watch her current day. I just know of the problematic things that she's been involved in, and so I choose to not watch her. So I don't know, maybe she's changed, and if she has, I think that's amazing. Love to see people change and grow and become better creators. But she was the one that um, was involved in this live stream. So she's definitely getting a whole lot of attention right now. And Gypsy Rose is as well. Early on, they show off their matching tattoos. And I have to say, y'all know that I am a tattoo enthusiast. I have tattoos. I appreciate tattoos. I appreciate tattoo artists and all of the work that goes into it. And I appreciate people expressing themselves through tattoos. And even if it's just a, Hey, I like how that looks and I want to get it tattooed. I'm here for that as well. So I appreciate the entire, um, tattoo industry as a whole. Um, the tattoos that they got are, just a really weird choice and it's the size of the tattoo is interesting to me the kind of style of it I don't know tell me how y'all feel about these I'll throw the photo right here do you like these do you I don't know are you a tab are you a husky lover that would get this tattooed on you Tell me how you feel about that down below, and maybe I'm just being a little snarky, but it is what it is sometimes. Of your tattoos. Oh, yes, let's see them in person. Well, there they are. There's the tats, y'all. There's the huskies. Now, at the beginning of the live, Natasha asked Ken why they got husky tattoos, and Ken said that when he and Gypsy first met, that they bonded over their love of huskies. We're saying they don't look new. They're brand new. They're fresh. They're still red. Yeah, they're still, they're still healing. <laughs> okay, so, well, there you saw it. <laughs> what? What? Oh, uh, yeah, isn't a heart? Is it supposed to be a heart when you put them together? No. It's just a husky. That's all that it is. It's an outline. So like we didn't want to get like the full detail because that's actually really painful. Yeah. So we just kind of wanted the outline of a husky and I was like scrolling for something that like <laughs> I thought would be pretty. I love, I yeah. I'm just clout chasing lol. <laughs> so it sounds like this was a really random spur of the moment thing. So the huskies was just like a random design that Gypsy picked out. Whatever. <laughs> uh, do you guys notice that I, I don't post any content? I'm not a content creator. All my socials are private. I don't accept anybody who I don't know or don't have mutuals with. So there's absolutely no part of me that is chasing any kind of clout here. Also, so they show off the matching tattoos and Gypsy goes into these, uh, this explanation of how they didn't want to get anything bigger or more detailed because it would hurt. Um, yeah, tattoos hurt. <laughs> like they're, they're not a walk in the park. Um, so the fact that you got these to me says that you're pressed to walk around like, we're matching. We connected and we bonded early on over our love of Huskies. And it's so funny because you're going to sit here and say that you're, you bonded with Ken because you both like Huskies while simultaneously just having bought a puppy that you abandoned with your ex-husband who you're not officially divorced from, but you're hanging out with your ex-fiance, getting matching tattoos, talking about being husky lovers. It's a very, very weird behavior. You know, there's this whole thing, when they lock arms, the tattoos are side by side and all this, whatever. To me, it's just very adolescent. And 
Um, like I said, I can appreciate tattoos, different styles, stuff that I wouldn't necessarily get. But with her, it's just, it, it makes me kind of cringe. Um, so either way, it's then mentioned that Ken is recently separated from his girlfriend, a new breakup. And people in the chat start seeing his ex-girlfriend, sharing her name, telling everybody who she is. And he's like, how did y'all even know about that? How did you know who she is? It's like, you're dealing with the internet, Ken. And I don't know if it's a newsflash to Ken, but people online, it, you know, when when you put your stuff out there, like it, it's not super difficult to figure out. And, um, you know, I'm sure that he maybe never imagined sitting on a live stream with Gypsy Rose and getting the attention that he's currently getting. But either way, y'all know that I'm not here for doxing and stuff, but it was definitely happening very quickly. As soon as his ex-girlfriend was mentioned, her name started showing up in the chat. Um, he broke up with his girlfriend. And there it is, y'all. Ken broke up with his girlfriend. Now, Natasha brought up the fact that Ken's mom posted her TikTok video and said that Ken had a girlfriend. And Ken's response was that his mom is kind of out of the loop on his life and that he and his girlfriend had been broken up. Mutual separation, but yes. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, mutual separation. Oh, wow. How do y'all know her name? Wait, who? People know her name. I've seen her name. Yeah, they know my ex's I didn't name. see that. <laughs> well, it's, I saw it in the chat. Somebody knows. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't see that. <laughs> Leave her alone, y'all. He does call it a mutual separation, which I thought was interesting because it's like, so are you saying that so that you don't look like a sleaze bag that left his girlfriend to go to your ex fiance who now has a lot of uh, fame and followers and stuff? Like, is, is that the idea? Have this mutual separation. Gypsy Rose separates from her husband, and now Ken automatically travels to Louisiana and they do this whole whirlwind being seen out in public and the matching tattoos and stuff. It's just, it's giving immature. Now, the, Natasha does ask, and I give her credit for, um, you know, making it a point to ask outright, what happened with the dog? What about Pixie the puppy that Gypsy was so excited to have this little puppy and show her off on Instagram? Um, Natasha asked, where is the dog? And because Natasha directly asked, she gave an answer. And the answer is that the puppy is with Ryan and the puppy liked Ryan more than the puppy liked Gypsy. And what I want to say about that is I hope the dog is okay and I hope that Ryan is um, happy about having this dog and maybe the dog will help him through this chapter and they'll just become best of friends. Um, because dogs are so magical and dogs are also so intelligent. For me, if it's actually how the dog was responding to both of them, I think it's interesting that the dog was not gravitating towards Gypsy. And I also says, I think it says a lot when you're, you know, I don't know. To me, it just kind of seems like it's very easy for her to just say, oh, the dog's with Ryan. Like, there's no... I don't know. Like, I, I would never separate from my dog. Like, there, there's just no way that would ever happen. So, I think that it's interesting hearing her talk about this dog as if it's like, oh, well, that's our old couch. So, the you know, the couch was better with Ryan. So... Ryan has the couch. Is it weird? Tell me how you feel about that down below. I, I appreciate y'all coming up here. They want to know where your puppy is, for God's sake. Please answer that. I, I, he's, uh, she is with Ryan. I gave her to Ryan. Like, I didn't want to uproot her from everything that she knows. So she loved Ryan more. So I let him keep the puppy. There you go. Gypsy also mentions that people were calling her parole officer and trying to say that Ken is a felon and Kellen, Kevin, or Kevin, Ken isn't a felon based on public records. He's not a felon. Um, but people are contacting her PO. Like, Gypsy Rose has pissed off so many people. I'm not surprised that the PO is being contacted. Not saying I agree with it. I'm just not surprised by it. 
So yesterday, I got a call from my PO. And so apparently someone had reported to my PO that Ken is a felon. And everybody knows oh that he's on parole, you can't hang out with other convicted felons. So I've already told them that he's not. I've already told them that he's wrong. He doesn't have a criminal record, never been in prison. Nope. He's not a felon. No so I'm not I, gonna... I clarified that yesterday. I actually clarified that for you. I told them that you did not have a felony record. I don't know. I don't know what, because a lot of people were saying that yesterday, and a lot of people got misinformation and thought that y'all met and he was in prison, not that y'all met while you were in prison. And I was like, no, no, no. So, no, guys, Ken does not have any felonies. I honestly can't believe people are calling her PO though. No, no. For the record, that report was. Yes. Okay. Well, not several mugshots. I've got one. I've been to jail one time for one night for driving on a suspended license back in 2014. I thought it was nothing so, but traffic uh, issues. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Traffic apparently issues. I had to learn this back then. I was like 21 at the time. But if you get a, if you get a speeding ticket and you don't pay it, you get a suspended license. And if you get pulled over, you go to jail for a night. So I learned that lesson back then. <laughs> but that's Wait. the one and only time I've ever been in jail. I was let out this morning. So yeah, there is a mugshot. I'm sure you can find it. But uh, I yeah. found it back anyway. She also throws shade at um, this idea that she's on OnlyFans. She says, I am not on OF and I would never be. The messages. Whatever is going around with OnlyFans, that's not me. I would never do that. Yeah, um, somebody, in Reddit, joined it. somebody yeah, in Reddit joined it to see, and what they did is somebody went on there and verified an account with another name and then changed it to your name. Oh, wow. One day, one day I'll get the hair transplant. Wow. No, I still got a little bit. Well, somebody's oh. getting a transplant. That was just responding. <laughs> they really try to drive home the point that they're just hanging out as friends. This is a friend thing. This is a friend situation, blah, 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 blah. Nobody's buying it. Like, the internet, as I've said so many times before, the internet is not stupid. So, the internet sees the way that you're interacting and the matching tattoos and how you're standing next to one another and how you're being flirtatious. She, men she mentions how she's, he's like, uh, Ken says, Gypsy is not pregnant. And she's like, I'm on birth control. And then he tries to say, oh, we haven't been intimate. And you can just tell the way that they're, the way they're acting with one another. It, it's giving like two kids trying to lie to the parent's face and get away with it. It's just not working. Pregnant for everybody who keeps asking. No, I'm, I'm on She's birth not control. pregnant. Like, what the hell? <laughs> and we have not had any intimacy. We're okay, just hanging out. Says, We're just total friends. Ken's receding hairline was also mentioned a couple times, and Gypsy made sure to tell him how he still looks good, even though he is losing his hair. Whatever. I mean, I, I, I'm I not here to be a bully or anything, but um, his receding hairline was mentioned a few times, and just wanted to throw it in here. The other update that I have is from Nina, the beauty influencer. She got a hold of a message from Ken's sister, and Ken's sister said, her name is Autumn. She said, Ken is my brother, like my real blood brother. She will never make it in this family, referring to Gypsy Rose. He has sisters that are really crazy. Me, with a bunch of laughing emojis, and she shares a photo to, you know, prove that it's actually her, and it's a photo from Christmas of 2022, where it shows her and Ken. So... There's also that. This is just so messy. And what I want to say is two, two thoughts to close out this video. Number one, I do think that Ken is back in the photo or back in the picture because of Gypsy Rose's newfound fame. He probably thinks that, you know, what they're, they're both going to become infamous because that's that's all that Gypsy Rose is. She is infamous at this point. She is not known for anything good. Um, and a lot of people that supported her upon her release have turned their backs on her and have just been kind of grossed out by the way that she has handled the last few months. It's really proved to me that she thrives off of attention, even if it's bad attention. The last thing I want to say is that even if I don't care for Ryan. I think he's, you know, kind of weird. I don't really think that his intentions were completely true with the whole Gypsy Rose thing. But what I can say is I do extend some compassion to him because he has had to deal with this and he supported Gypsy and was right there by her side when she was in, you know, prison still. And she has come out and you know, he kind of 
in some ways kind of like restructured his life to prepare for her to come home and it didn't even last three months and all of this is happening very publicly so that does suck I'm not saying oh boohoo I feel so bad for him poor Ryan but what I am saying is it's a really crappy situation and I think that Gypsy Rose just manipulates people and then thrives off of the attention that she gets from it. And it's kind of a sad existence that I think it's going to fizzle out very, very soon because like I said, so many people are already tired of it. And at this point, they're consuming it for entertainment purposes only, not because they're actually following her because they're really interested in her, if that makes sense. A lot of people are comparing this to just like some kind of trashy soap opera, and I can see why they're saying that. But either way, that's the update with this live stream that is all kinds of clips and stuff, and of course I will splice in some of the clips for context, but we'll see what y'all have to say. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment, and if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.